You sure are a quiet one, David boy. But now, don't you worry. I got me a deal simmering back in L.A. that'll set me flying. Those tax claims, peanuts. Old Dwight and his Uncle Sammy just has a little disagreement over some back taxes. Nothing serious. Well, old Dwight, I'd be a liar if I said they weren't concerned. My old daddy used to say, Son, don't you lose your head, because your ass is sure to follow. Well, let me say it this way. You take care of this blackmail bullshit, and I'll take care of my Uncle Sammy, you hear? How well did you know Hayes? Rashid. How about Costa, Denise Abbott? No, I didn't know him. Herr Hurtle mentioned them to me, but I never knew him, boy. Who handled your account? Me. How about your wife? She know about it? No, little lady and I have been divorced for nine years. Secretary, business manager? Nobody. I guard those papers with my life, boy. Gee, I'm scared, Davy. I don't have much more time I'm getting on, and I can't afford any big setbacks. Well, Mac, uh, money ain't everything. You trying to tell me something, Davy? Yeah, five little secret accounts came to Zurich. Hayes was killed, and then there were four. Rashi was killed, and then there were three. You show up, and your daddy might turn out to be right. Hello, Rita Jensen. Rita, it's Franz. Everything all right? So far, so good. I've set it up. But just a matter of following through. What's the plan? Just as we discussed. Now you know what to do. Meet me tomorrow morning, just before noon, at the entrance of the park. All right? Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Good morning. Good morning. Herr Costa, this is Mr. Christopher. As I told you on the telephone, we've retained him to protect us and you. Uh, these seem to be the final instructions. The day after tomorrow, you're Mr. Christopher. They know you. With 15 million francs in uncut diamonds, accompanied by the account holders, will proceed to Wildersville to the first intersection past Interlaken. There you will find a car parked next to a wooden barn with further instructions. No surveillance or all lives are forfeit. Well, it's going to be a hell of a crowd. Can you get the diamonds? We have a supply in the vaults. How about you, Mr. Costa? Are you going to come up with the money? Why should I pay a million francs? I did not break security. The bank did. You have evidence. Evidence? Evidence, facts, proof. How else could it have happened? No evidence. Actually, Mr. Christopher, Herr Benning and I have discussed this matter. And we reached the conclusion that the bank, without admitting any irresponsibility, will pay the ransom in order to save the lives of our clients, especially after the dreadful death of Mr. Hayes last night. I can't risk another life. That's uh, very noble of you, Herr Hurdle. We realize this is a temporary solution, but the reputation of the bank is worth more than 15 million francs. And the bank will make up its losses with additional charges to its customers. The percentage of loss will have very little effect on the charges of the customers. No wonder they thought you might pay. We'll pay just this once. That's why we hired you. We do not like the possibility of further loss along these lines. I see. Mr. Costa, I'd like to talk to you. What are you after? Well, the bank has hired me to protect its clients from blackmail. I just want to know why you're being blackmailed. Isn't that academic now? The Hurdle Bank has agreed to follow the blackmailer's final instructions and pay their demands. Your job now, it seems to me, is to see that these instructions are carried out. I must go now. Herr Hertel, may I thank you for your gracious handling of a most difficult situation. Auf Wiedersehen.